In this video we're going to have a look at producing some elevations of our house. Now I'm going to use our previously drawn section and I'm positioning the paper carefully because I'm going to overlay our new sheet of paper so I can trace the outline of the section and then I want enough space alongside to do another elevation around the corner from it. So just pointing out what we're going to be tracing is the external ground level which will end up going right the way across then the walls and then the actual roof so we'll just trace that to start with So there's our basic outline. What we're going to do now is we can look for the heights of windows. And I'm just going to take my 6H pencil and at this point I can still see underneath the heads of windows. So I'm just going to put some light marks on the paper for the head and the sill and the same for the downstairs which of course would be the heads of the doors and then the window sills so it just makes it quicker when you're positioning those afterwards now as it turns out I haven't got any on the side elevation but those will still come in useful for the next side so what I'm going to do now is I've done the tracing I need to so I'm just going to remove the section and then put this drawing on the board correctly. Whenever you reposition a drawing on the drawing board, always make sure that you have actually put it on level before you start doing any drawing, because it would be very sad if you didn't and it was all wonky. Okay, so what I'm going to do now is just extend that across over there and the width of my building was seven meters so I'm just going to look for the seven meters on here and just mark out seven meters by there and I can use these lines from the top and bottom of the fascia to just go across and the ridge of the building like so, nice and light with my 6H. And then because I've done that, I can now put my walls in up to those points. So where I measured earlier, by there. there just up to the underside of the fascia 
I'm going to give the fascia an overhang of say 150 on the side of the building and then I can use that to quickly draw in those parts and then I'll draw across the top and I'll darken up the top of the fascia. I'm just going to avoid darkening the bottom of the fascia for now because I want to put my rainwater goods on before I do that. But what I do want to do now is just transfer across these heads and sills of the windows because it's a going to make it a lot easier for us. There we go. So I did that my 6H, so it's nice and light. Now I'm going to take measurements off my floor plan and actually transfer those onto here. So I've got 1300 for my window to the side and then 1800 for the actual window itself then I've got another 1150 to the door and the door is a one meter wide door opening okay so we'll draw those in next now I'll just before I do the door though I am going to put the step into the house 150 mil off the ground level and just put a faint line by there and now I can quickly go around these and I'll put the upstairs window there in the same position So that gives us the outlines. I'm going to swap across to my 2H pencil now. I'm going to draw in my rainwater goods. So we'll have our gutter, like so. I'll put a downpipe in on the far side over here. the underside of the fascia in but just being careful not to draw over the dang pipe so it looks tidy okay what we would then do is actually draw in the uh, frames and patterns and so forth of our doors and windows so I'll just put some sills in on them first put a little threshold for the door then I'll put a frame in for the door
tidy up some of the bits I don't need. Just going to divide it into three. Just give myself a rough idea of different elements. So, what I'm doing now is just drawing some framework. So what I've done there, I've shown it as two s with the side opening windows and a fixed window in the middle. So you'll notice what I've done is two lines by here to show the full frame, which will be the opening section, and then that one I've only shown the one line because it's just that fixed panel in the background and these are overlapping it so you can't really see both sides of it and the top and bottom of it would actually be straight to the sill and the head. And then I'll just repeat that on the one at the top. And you can use the one below as a guide to just line it up to keep it looking nice. So I'm doing all of this with my 2H pencil. And again, that's as in previous drawings where we've used those different pencils just to get different line weights. So I tend to use the HB for the boundaries and then the 2H for a little bit of detail on the inside. This window over here, I'll just have one of them as openable. So that's basically our drawing. Um, you might want to do a bit of labelling then. Some common labels would be the type of roof tiles. So just doing my construction lines. Maybe something for the rainwater. 
and something for the doors and windows. So we could have text underneath just saying which elevation is which so you could label this north south east west or I'm just gonna do side elevation and front that's how you can go about producing some elevations for your house.